What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Massive updates around the Fantastic Four film coming to the MCU in late 2024. I want to talk about the official news of the director being confirmed for the Fantastic Four movie, some of the crazy plot details that some of the insiders are talking about now, and some wild updates about how this could tie into Avengers Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. So the director for the upcoming Fantastic Four movie has been confirmed by the Hollywood trailer and it's going to be Matt Shackman, who is the dude that directed every single episode of WandaVision. Now, this was being rumored and talked about you know, at first it just started with a few whispers, a little bit of teasing here and there. Then there were some outlets like The Direct and Cinestealth that did come forward and say that they have heard from sources that it will be Matt Shackman and just yesterday, The Hollywood Reporter, which is a Hollywood trade, confirmed that Matt Shackman is in talks. And in fact, the reports went further than that. Very late yesterday, it was officially revealed that he, Matt Shackman, will no longer be directing the Star Trek IV film that he was attached to for Paramount, which is kind of wild because as I suggested in some live streams last week, I believe that the Fantastic Four movie that Shackman's going to direct is going to have some serious Star Trek vibes. We're gonna get into all of that and more, but first a word from this video sponsor. But now I wanna talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is actually delicious and nutritious. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four to five net grams of carbs in each serving. The cereal is also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. Oh, and if you didn't know, the first Saturday of each new month, we actually do a watch party for our members of the live streaming channel on Saturday morning. You best believe I'm going to have a big old bowl of magic spoon when we do it next. And you can too. Click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. Be sure to use the promo code NerdVengers at checkout to get $5 off any order. It's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. What are you freaking waiting for? So as I was saying, Shackman was attached to the next Star Trek movie with Chris Pine over at Paramount, and he's no longer going to be doing that because he's doing the Fantastic Four. And what's really interesting is there have been rumors for some time that elements of Star Trek were going to make their way into the Fantastic Four movie. And this seemed to be corroborated yesterday when Grace Randolph talked about Matt Shackman's pitch. Apparently, the pitch that he gave to Kevin Feige for the Fantastic Four movie he wanted to make was what put him over the top and ultimately gave him the job. This pitch is said to have three major elements that seem to be exactly what Kevin Feige wanted for this film. Shackman's pitch is said to be very true to the comics, aka the source material. It's going to have a very light hearted tone and it will focus on exploration. Now, is the exploration part of that pitch that attaches, at least in my mind, to the Star Trek of it all. I mean, after all, the Federation in Star Trek, their goal is ultimately to go out throughout the universe and protect the rights of sentient life, share technology, and just abilities for these civilizations to thrive. They're actually a peacemaking operation. Like, they're just trying to go out there, explore, and help other sentient beings. And space travel is a huge part of a lot of different Fantastic Four stories. I mean, their origin takes place with them out exploring space and being hit with cosmic rays. They are often involved in intergalactic conflict and have relations with different alien races. I mean, anywhere from the Kree Scroll War to the most recent Empire event, which saw Hulkling become the emperor of the Kree and Scroll combined empire. I mean, hell, even in the most recent Secret Wars, Reed Richards builds a ship that allows himself and many other heroes to survive the collapsing of the multiverse and arrive on Battleworld. And so to me, the idea of a Star Trek-esque adventure where the Fantastic Four is out exploring either the universe or the multiverse is perfect. That's the perfect tone for Marvel's first family. And it could also explain why in canon, they are not on Earth and haven't been dealing with things actually on 
Earth. And the fact that Marvel Studios is going to be bringing in Doctor Doom and he's going to be an established character in the MCU suggests that Reed Richards has also been an established character as the two of them met in college in America and formed the rivalry that basically Doctor Doom never lets go. There are also a lot of rumors that the Fantastic Four will be teased or set up in some way, shape, or form in Ant-Man Quantum Mania. I mean, in Quantum Mania, we're going to be dealing with a lot of craziness going on in the quantum realm. And perhaps if the Fantastic Four is out exploring the multiverse, something that happens at the end of Quantum Mania will release them back into our regular universe. Or the end of Quantum Mania releases some energies that allow Reed to know that there's something going on in the multiverse, and Reed himself will decide to take his family and go out and explore what's going on in the multiverse. And as for what I think about Matt Shackman getting this gig, I think it's a really good pick. Shackman not only did an incredible job with WandaVision, which to me was a great show that had kind of a lackluster ending, an ending that has been made a little bit better in my mind because of what happens in Multiverse of Madness, but he has also done a ton of other incredible prolific television, including a ton of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, a show that has been syndicated and been on the air forever. And to top all of that off, he was literally gonna do the Star Trek movie for freaking Paramount. Like what a better fit for perhaps what Kevin Feige's looking to do with the Fantastic Four. And I did wanna mention that according to The Hollywood Reporter, it's very likely that you will get the official announcement of Matt Shackman being the director of the Fantastic Four in just a couple of weeks at D23, where there's gonna be a big Marvel Studios announcement panel and i wouldn't be surprised if maybe you got a few or all of the main cast solidified for that presentation i think it's gonna be very very hype and get people excited i will of course be doing a live stream during that and we'll be breaking down a ton of this stuff in different videos as well but now let's talk about a couple real crazy things that are being suggested by some insiders and my speculation on how this will tie into avengers kang dynasty and avengers secret wars and the first thing i want to talk about is the boner boner <laughs> Ralph Boner, aka Evan Peters from the WandaVision show. Now, insider Great Phase has recently been teasing that there's way more to the character of Ralph Boner and that Evan Peters will be returning to the MCU. He's an established Marvel character. He does not get along with his family and will be introduced in a movie in 2024. And even yesterday, he kind of doubled down on this, suggesting heavily that Evan Peters would be returning in the Fantastic Four movie. And if Ralph Boner is some kind of crazy cosmic long play for Marvel, it's perfect that Matt Shackman first introduces the character in WandaVision, understands what that big macro plan is, and then will take us further on that journey with the character in the Fantastic Four. And there are a couple of things that come to mind, a couple of crazy characters that could be what Ralph Boner actually is. Number one, of course, Mephisto, even though that's pretty low on the list, I did think for a long time that this character could be Mephisto. I also think he could be the Molecule Man. That doesn't really completely tie into the family thing and him being an established hero, but I do think that you could see a version of the Molecule Man and some crazy inner workings of what's going on with the multiverse. My personal theory on who Ralph Boner could actually be is that he will be the Beyonder or one of the Beyonders. Now, some of the stuff that Greyface was teasing out about him being an established hero and not getting along with his family, that is actually kind of confusing. But I do think that if they're going to do Secret Wars and have the Beyonder play a big role in that, it would actually make sense that Evan Peters' Ralph Boner character would be that dude at that time during WandaVision, because I also believe that Wanda herself and the Darkhold and the incursions that we see in Multiverse of Madness will be a big part of what takes us towards Secret Wars. But my last theory on who this Ralph Boner character actually is, is the most incredible and probably makes the most sense for a Fantastic Four movie, and that would be that this character would actually be Franklin Richards, the son of Sue Storm and Reed Richards. And there are actually a couple of different times within Marvel Comics history where a future version of Franklin Richards comes back in time and interacts with not only his younger self, but the rest of his family in order to thwart some crazy thing that's going on, some big, huge problem 
in the future. And that would just be absolute insanity if this was a version either from the future or a variant universe of Franklin Richards that's coming back is with his family and is helping them further explore the multiverse and that can go several different ways but overall i imagine the tone of the fantastic four movie to be pretty lighthearted and to be very family oriented being true to the comics as you know was said that matt shackman's pitch was very focused on but i do believe that either lingering within the plot of the fantastic four movie or perhaps being set up in a post credit scene that the incursions themselves will play a huge role in what's going on in that movie and perhaps understanding that trying to prevent it or even discovering it but probably too late one of those options is likely to be in the Fantastic Four movie. Again, it's a massive movie for Marvel Studios. It comes out the year before two Avengers movies come out. I think you're going to see some big setup in the Fantastic Four movie. Like this video if you had a good time watching it and you feel like you've been informed. And subscribe to this freaking channel just because.